What should your baby be doing in the first three months and what can you do as a parent to help promote healthy development in your baby? So we're gonna go through the common developmental milestones in these first three months of life and what we can do as parents to help our babies have a good and healthy development. The first three months of our baby's life is filled with tremendous growth and development. And we're often wondering, is this normal? Should my baby be doing that? Why isn't my baby doing this? Now, please remember that every baby is unique and some babies don't match the development at the exact time. So let's break this down into four categories. Their physical development, their cognitive development, socio development, and communication. Physical development. Your baby is developing their head and neck strength during this time, their back strength. They're learning how to lift their head and look around and look side to side and follow and track objects. By the end of three months, your baby should be able to go from a laying position on the floor to lifting their head up and looking around. For their cognitive development, you're gonna notice your baby tracking objects. They'll follow you around a room if they hear your voice. They'll follow an object if you put it in front of them. They'll look at your finger. They're tracking movement. This is often when you might notice a change in their feeding patterns too. They're more distracted. They're, they're hearing noises, they're responding to it. They're looking away. If something catches their eye, they're unlatching and they're turning. And it can be a time of frustration for some mom but it is a healthy, healthy developmental milestone for them. One tip that I have for you during this time, if you are breastfeeding or bottle feeding and your baby is reaching this cognitive developmental milestone where they're tracking sounds and objects and trying to move towards it, is to clip something to your bra if you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding that is either brightly colored or makes rattling noises so that they can have that visual stimulation and auditory stimulation in front of them and they're playing with it. That, that can help keep their attention where you want it to be. Their socio development, this is such a fun one. This is when they're really responsibly smiling. I don't like when people tell moms in the beginning that their baby's smiling because of gas. I think their baby is smiling because they're happy and they're happy to see mommy and they're happy to hear this sound and they're feeling good and they're happy. And now is when they are reacting to our smiles. They are smiling back, they're returning that social cue that they are receiving. They're giving it back. They are showing happiness towards other people. And it's such a fun, it's such a fun stage. And the fourth stage, communication. Your baby has been communicating with you since birth. They are crying. They are bringing their hand to their mouth. They are licking their lips. They are squeezing their eyes, they are grunting. This is all communication. They are trying to tell us something. They are expressing a need with their body. And we are learning their language more and more. And now they're entering the stage where they're starting to almost like babble and they're starting to make their own sounds. And it's starting to become similar to our language. And this is the time where we get to hear their voice a little bit more and it's very exciting. Right now in this developmental season of life, they are building trust versus mistrust. Can I trust my world? Is my world a safe space? Can I have security and confidence in my environment? So what can we do as parents to help our babies with their physical, their cognitive, their social, their communication, this trust versus mistrust development that they're at? Number one for physical, tummy time. Tummy time is a great, great, great exercise for our baby. It does not have to happen on the floor on a mat separate from us. It can happen on us. It can happen on our chest. It can happen on a yoga ball with us supporting them. But if our baby is just laying on us and every time they lift their head, we're encouraging them, we're smiling at them. They're feeling safe, they're feeling secure. They know that we're there. We're making eye contact, we're smiling. That kind of tummy time, it's a fun exercise and it can help with bonding between us with our babies in other ways other than feed. For their cognitive development, we wanna give them a stimulating environment. How do we do this? Sure, you can go buy all of the baby toys, 
all of the black and white books, all of the baby Einstein stuff. Or you can just strap them to your chest in a baby carrier, always keeping their head where you can kiss the top of it. They have to be raised up high and include them in your day. Let them see what you're doing. Walk outside, talk to them about the flowers, talk to them about what you see, read to them out loud. All of this is nourishing their minds. This will create a healthy bond between you guys. And it will also, I think one thing why parents get kind of burnt out is, well, one, we're often isolated. Two, we take on all the roles, all the roles, provider, teacher, mother, chef, everything, everything. But we also feel like the only learning that a child can do often is a child-centered activity. And these, are, these can be really fun and they can be really important. But including our child in our day, making them part of our life, letting them see what we do, what we're interested in, talking to them about things, discussing ideas, even if they're a baby and they're not saying anything back. Just getting into the habit of including them in your life, in your mind, in your thought process. This is beautiful and this is important. Just bring them with you while you walk around. Wear your baby. That is great cognitive development. That exposes them to a lot. Keep them facing towards you. We don't want them faced out yet. We want them towards mommy, protected, towards daddy, towards parent, whoever is caring for this baby. We are not just teaching our baby, we're also teaching ourselves. We're getting into habits. And right now we're getting into habits of how we speak to our child. We're getting into habits of how we include our child. We're getting into habits of how we deal with stressful days with our child. We are developing our parental habits right now. So to be intentional in our responses, to be affirming to our kids, to be a teacher, it starts now. It doesn't have to start when they are able to form sentences. It starts now, it starts today. And you have been given this beautiful role of parent. And I know you wanna take it seriously. Why else are you here? You know why you're here. Every baby is unique. Every baby grows at a different pace. You are a great parent. And I hope this video helped give a little bit more clarity on what to do. Love ya, see ya pizza.